So I'm a new immigrant to Israel. Uh, I moved here with my wife four years ago. And um, I'm, I, when I moved, I had new business cards printed with a, with a special title, which is Self-Appointed Ambassador at Large for the State of Israel. So I'm doing all kinds of activities which, uh, which promote this country. Such as? Well, such as, um, well, I'm here at the judo, so as such as supporting judo, which, uh, to, to, which is now um, in front of an international audience, uh, and this is an important international competition. So uh, sports like judo, um, I support uh, several different kinds of sports. Uh, I support uh, other cultural activities, um, and I do certain good things here in the, in the country. Uh, in education and in health and, and others, but um, my main activity is really to, to um, promote um, large-scale events that are seen internationally and show Israel, show Israel as, a, as a country that is open, diverse, free, tolerant, and most importantly, safe country to visit. Why is sport is so important for you? So, you know, sport, um, sport is a language. So we have people who come from different backgrounds, who speak different languages, who are come from different cultures, and sport brings them together, and they look at it in each other's eyes, and they compete in in the spirit of good sportsmanship, and uh, and we build bridges and we build friendships uh, really that last for a lifetime. What have you discovered in the world of judo that you didn't know and that you are very surprised and pleased with it? So, judo is very much mano a mano, right? So it's, um, it's, a, it's a very intense struggle between two individuals. And I think, you know, that many sports, of course, you have people competing, but this is two people in the ring together and um, they need to fight each other, but in, in, in with using good sportsmanship, if you would commit a foul, it, it, the sport won't, won't allow you to continue. So um, I think what's beautiful about judo is really it, it's really brings two, it brings people very close together and you, you have to respect your opponent and you have to treat him with, good, with fairness and, and with good sportsmanship. And the best wins. The, the best always wins, correct. But respect in the rules. You must respect the rules. But the best always wins. This is, this is the, the nature of the sport and I, and I, I do like that. How about the Tel Aviv Grand Prix and the Tel Aviv atmosphere, the Tel Aviv um, organization, logistics? Look, you've seen it here. Uh, I don't think there are many places in the world that could put on a, a, a Grand Prix as well attended by knowledgeable fans in such a really high level uh, competition, high level production. Um, this is a major sport here and, and we treat it as such, so I'm very proud of, uh, of, the, of our hosting of this event. So are we going to have this kind of a relationship between you, sport and judo for many years? So, um, first of all, we, are, we have a, th a three-year contract, so we will, you, the judo will be back, the Grand Prix will be back next year, and uh, we are already talking to the Federation about possibly hosting a world championship. So uh, maybe if Marius is watching this uh, sh uh, little episode, uh, it puts a little more pressure on him to, to consider us. But I think, again, we have, n we have, we have uh, very enthusiastic, but more importantly, knowledgeable fans. And I think it would be a great venue to host uh, this competition. One word about the Moshe Pompolis. Look, he is, um, he's the reason that all the fans are here. You know, he built a program, um, he had goals, and he built a program that, it, that, is, that, that is durable and that has had success. And you know, the Israeli public, like any country, they appreciate success. And what does success do? A kid, a school children, a child, looking at the judo, goes to his mother and says, listen, I want to do judo after school. And now we have after school programs and we have a real organic growth of this sport here uh, in Israel. So uh, that's all because of Ponte. He, he, he's really the, the reason all of this happened. So I, I was fortunate enough to meet Ponte. Um, I admired his vision and I admired his success. And uh, that's why I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in it with him. We are partners in this uh, Grand Prix together and, uh, and I'm proud of it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.